Hi there. So this section is about what happens after an audition. So after an audition, you make sure your hair stays the same and uh, that you are available for the shoot date. The client will come back to us and let us know who is optioned or shortlisted. It means from all of the people that they've seen, they've basically narrowed it down to a small group of people that they're now going to present. So if you're optioned or shortlisted, it means you're on that list. We'll contact you and let you know if you're optioned or shortlisted. Often the client would like to see those optioned or shortlisted people for a callback, which means it's basically a second audition and a longer audition where the director is often there and uh, the director will then direct you with more performance and what you need to do. So you would dress similar or the same to what you wore to original casting. Uh, callbacks are usually at the same location as what your original casting was and uh, have your hair similar and you know, because obviously whatever you're doing in the first place they liked, so stick along those lines. So uh, you have a callback. Uh, sometimes they will then once uh, once they confirm you. Now they want you. They book you. Okay. Then after booking, you can have a wardrobe call. Sometimes they have a wardrobe call. Sometimes not. But they are allowed a, a wardrobe call. So they can ask you to go somewhere uh, to a wardrobe place, and then they um, kind of compare your and everybody else's wardrobes at the wardrobe call. So for, for wardrobe is where they decide what it is that you and everybody on that shot are gonna wear for that particular advert. So um, you usually shoot in your own clothes, 90% of adverts are shot in your own clothes. Um, so you would take whatever you need to to the wardrobe call and the wardrobe call is usually just a few hours. Sometimes there's also a rehearsal that depends on whether the uh, production requires it or not. Mostly there's not, but it can be if there is some dancing or some choreography or something like that involved, then they have a rehearsal. Um, and then lastly, uh, it's your shoot date. So you now all, you know, they've gone through a huge casting process to get to this date. So this date, they need to make sure that everybody is on point you know no mistakes no one's late everything is perfect and on time so they've really screened you now you need to be there as a professional so they'll give you your call time your call time could be any time uh, tv ads start shooting from about four or five in the morning so your call time will literally be any time and you're on set for local ads for uh, 10 hours for international ads for 11 hours uh, but basically you stay on set until it's wrapped until they tell you to go if you shoot after that, then obviously you, you get over time unless you're informed before that it's an extended day. So uh, yeah, basically you um, arrive on set, you sign your timesheet. That's the only thing that you need to sign, okay? If you're given any documentations, contracts or anything, say to them, please send it to my agency. My agency will sign that on my behalf. We're just going to make sure that everything is in line and that you're not signing all your rights away. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you sign, the only thing you sign is your time sheet, the time you arrived and the time you leave, okay? Um, so that we know if after so many hours there is overtime applicable to you or not. Uh, and then yeah, just be your professional, friendly uh, self and listen to what the director is asking um, and just follow the instructions uh, throughout the day. Um, you're not allowed to have friends and family on set, obviously. You also shouldn't have them at your castings. Um, and then you need to make sure, um, yeah, that you just basically follow what needs to be done. The meals are provided on set, so you don't need to worry about that. And also don't take valuable things to set. You don't, um, uh, you know, you, you, when you're busy shooting, you can't watch it as well. Okay. Although sets are very safe, they've got security and so on and so on. So, all right. So you're going to go ahead. You're going to shoot your job. After you've shot your job, you're going to come home. You're going to email uh, us. Let us know how it went and then send us your banking details as well. We need to have the following information, ID, copy of your ID, um, income tax number, physical address, um, and I think that's all, the rest of your details we've got. So um, you need to make sure that we've got all of that information. The client will not pay if that information is not there. If you do not have an income tax number, it's very easy to get one from source. You're a freelance performing artist. So you're in the performing arts, you're a freelancer, that will give you an income tax number. If you're struggling with that, we can help you to get an income tax number. But note, you will not be paid. The client will not pay you if you do not have a tax number. Um, yeah, so make sure we have all the documents on an email, send it through, and then we can process uh, the payment from the client for you. So um, payment can take up to 90 days, it all depends, because depending on the editing time of the advert as well. So when you get to original casting brief, it's broken up into a day rate and a usage. The day rate is the fee that you are paid for going and shooting the advert. The usage is what the client pays in lieu of them using your image in the advert. So providing in the final edit, you are featured, you are recognized in the final edit, then you get your usage. 
free. Most of the time when you cast as a featured, you are featured in your final uh, in the final edit but it does happen from time to time that you're not featured in which case the client is not liable to pay you the usage fee if you're not sure you could ask us about that um and then uh yeah so because because we have to wait for the final edit um and you know it's, it's quite a process it, the payment can take up to 90 days but most of the time it does happen a lot quicker than that and then um yeah basically that's it if you have any questions pertaining to post-production or anything you can give us a shot info at cromodels.co.za